Hello Cancers, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the third week in August. This reading is for all of the Cancers out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the third week in August. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your moon, your Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, you like my vibe, you feel like I'm the reader for you, and you would like to show some support to the channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and that thumbs up image to help this video circulate. If you need a personal private reading, the link to the email address is in the description box. I do have openings for the remaining of August, so if you want or you feel like you need a more detailed reading, hit the, um, the link to the Hit the email link in the description box. <laughs> this reading is for all of the cancers, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the week of August 15th through the 21st. So let's see what energies come out for you cancers. What's the energy for the sign of cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? We have the two of swords and the reverse. Two of swords and the reverse. Okay, the five of pentacles. Where's the five? Ooh. The six of cups. All right. Okay. We have the queen of wands. I'm sorry, that's the queen of pentacles. The king of swords. You and your person are on two different pages. Why is this King of Swords here? We have the Sun card, Leo's energy. Um, oh, wait a minute. All right. We have the Queen of Swords. This could be a marriage. The Three of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. This may have something to do with money. We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy with the Sun card, Leo's energy. Okay, so there's definitely some illumination going on. Someone is getting gaining some type of clarity. We have the Two of Pentacles here. So, there's definitely a decision here that needs to be made, but someone is not making it. Someone is not deciding on if they want to work on this union after walking away. Someone walked away, and now it's it's coming back around to revisit this. And then someone is like, I'm not sure because they walked away with their five of pentacles. This there could have this this walking away. Either you or your person, whomever walked away, caused some type of financial hardship. And now with the six of cups, someone wants to come back together and reconnect. This could be a past life love. Or someone you've known from your childhood or children can be involved. I'm seeing though someone wants a reconnection because they see the worth of the other person. And you want to have this honest conversation. That's what's on your mind at this time. This could be with your significant other. With this um, queen of uh, swords coming right out. Coming out right behind it. Someone wants to have a conversation. Either you or either your partner. But I feel like you two are on the same page. Or You two are not on the same page. You're not even looking at each other. The male energy is guard is down. While the female energy is like, if you come near me, I'm going to cut your damn head off. So that's, that's what's going on with that. It could be because of a third party. But someone wants to put in some type of effort for success. They want to work on this union and they're strategically planning how they're going to come back to reunite. This is what's being manifested and illuminated at this time. Okay. So let's clarify and see what other energies come out. What other messages come out for my cancers. What else is here for the sign of cancer? What other messages is here for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What other messages is here for the sign of Cancer, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? 
what other messages are here for my cancers out there? Why is the Two of Swords here in the reverse with this Five of Pentacles? Why is the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles? Okay, the Two of Pentacles again. So someone, again, there's, there, um, there is an undecisiveness or an indecision pertaining to someone that was juggling. Yeah, someone was getting attention from other people. <coughs> and that's what caused someone to withdraw it and to go within to gain some type of clarity. Moved away from this situation quickly. But now someone with the Ace of Pentacles want to come back in. Someone wants to come back in for a new stable beginning. But I feel like this other person is like, no. Yeah. Someone's ready to take action, but they're coming in as a page. Mm-hmm. They're coming in as a page. And because they're coming in as a page and that same energy, there's a tower moment. Could be with an Aries or a Scorpio. And there will not be a new beginning. There will not be stability in this union if the person doesn't come in right. And Cancer, this is you, the chariot. Why is this chariot here for the sign of cancer? Okay. So, so you're the one that wants to balance things out. You're trying to have patience. You're trying to balance things out. You want to do things in moderation. This this is a wish fulfillment for you. That's what will, will make you happy and make you feel free. But you're cut off at this time. Yeah, because someone has a decision to make. This person is deciding on if they want to let you back into their space. Or, in, yeah, say two of wands. Deciding on if they want to let you back into their life. Into their world. <clears throat> okay. I just literally, like, dropped half, a half a deck of cards. And I'm trying to pick pick all of them up so that my dog <laughs> doesn't get to any of them to um, chew them up. So with the King of Swords here, a conversation needs to take place. And that's what your person is deciding on. Do I want to communicate with my counterpart, with my cancer, or vice versa, apply the energy is a fit to your story, but do I want to communicate? Do I even want to communicate with them? That's that's what's going on. Oh, this is too many cards. That's like way too many. But let's see. Yeah. So they're using their intuition to gain some type of clarity. Someone is listening to their intuition. They're able to see things that either you thought they weren't going to be able to see or they thought you weren't going to be able to see. Someone is able to see the unknown. They have all the clarity that they need. And they're listening to their intuition. That's why either you were cut off or this person was cut off. Because there was some type of third party going on and someone needed to gain some type of justice. And this is what was illuminated to this person. So that's why they walked away. Someone packed up and they walked away. Because it was causing them to feel overwhelmed, bogged down, feeling like they were carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. It took them a while to walk away, but they did. They took a leap of faith and they moved away from this union, planting new seeds and watching these new seeds grow. Because they were uncertain about where things were going between you and them and they wanted things to move forward in their life quickly. Yeah. They knew that things were suspended in the air with you, with that hangman. <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck. So let's see. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for the sign of cancer? for the sign of cancer okay this is the uh five of cups excuse the card my dog chewed this card up 
So someone right now is feeling disappointed about this crying over spilled milk. Someone definitely has regrets about their actions. Have regrets and still wanting, thinking about coming together to have this conversation that needs to take place. Uh, pertaining to are we going to reconnect or not? That's what's, that's what's on someone's mind. Are we going to reconnect or not? Because I still have love for you. I still have love for you. I'm healing. I'm hoping that if we reconnect, things get better. I want to bring in some type of balance and justice with this um, justice card, Libra's energy. I still have lots of passion for you. I want a passionate new beginning. I know I was being immature. I know I could have been stalking, spying on you, checking out your social media, driving past your home, your job, but I want to come forward and bring you this cup of love because I still have love for you. Yeah, see, four of wands, I want to bring in some type of stability. So someone does want to bring in stability. However, let's see if the oracle card take this out. Or you want to allow this to take place? See, I want to make amends. It's same message. Because I can't get enough of you. <clears throat> I wish we can go back. Someone wants to go back so they can do things over. They miss hearing your voice. Or either this is you missing your person's voice. But this is what's going on in someone's heart and in someone's mind. Definitely want to, want to revisit this and do things over. So someone is ready to get rid of this third party. We have seduction and reverse. Yeah. Someone is walking away from these options. Oh, okay. Because they're married. They want to, um, someone wants to focus on their marriage so that things can re be rekindled and they can go to a new phase within a marriage. And now they're ready to talk about it. Okay. So cancers, that's it. That is it for your reading for the third week in August. Comment below. Let me know. If this is your story, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.